Though it's hardly a household word, mitral regurgitation affects millions of Americans. Also called a leaky heart, it's one of the most common valve problems. The mitral valve regulates the blood between the left atrium and the left ventricle, and that um, becomes a problem because as um, that valve starts to leak more and more, it can lead to conditions like atrial fibrillation. It can also lead to worsening of heart failure and raises stroke risk. Mild to moderate cases may be treated with medication and supervision, but severe mitral regurgitation typically requires surgery. We used to replace the mitral valve, but a lot more um, techniques are utilized now where we can repair and keep the patient's own valve in uh, the body without having them to go through an open uh, heart um, surgery. Nearly all mitral valve repairs can be performed using a minimally invasive approach through a two to three inch incision on the right side of the chest. Recovery from a typical open heart surgery is a month compared to a less invasive technique which has an average downtime of two to three days. As with many heart ailments, symptoms include shortness of breath, palpitations, and sometimes swelling of the feet and ankles. As we all get older, um, one of the things that unfortunately happens is the structural um, valves uh, fail us. It's important to make sure that you diagnose the fact that the valve is leaking, so determine what to do about it. If caught early, there are several fixes when leaky valves are at the heart of the problem. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.